Welcome back. For this month's block, we're going to start out making some half square triangles. And we're going to do it the two at a time method, and they're going to turn out like this. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is on the wrong side of my, I'm going to do it on my white block. I am going to draw a line from corner to corner. Okay, just one line. And then we're going to match these two squares up together. And then we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch a quarter of an inch on each side of the line. So let's go do that now. Okay, when I do the two at a time half square triangles, um, I do so closer to the line than a quarter inch away. So it's just kind of a scant or really narrow quarter inch. Um, just so that I have enough left for a seam allowance. Um, I definitely want more than like an eighth of an inch. But what that does then is it gives me a little bit more to trim off all four edges of my block so that I know I have it the right size. So if you take too big of a seam here, you may not have, you know, much to trim down or your block may be too small. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. You'll find a comfortable spot after you do a bunch of these but I'm just gonna go ahead then and stitch on each side. Okay, we'll just spin that around. Okay, looks good. It's hard to see that stitching with the white fabric there, but let's go trim it and see how we did. Okay, now I'm going to trim right along that line that I drew. Just trim right on that. And so I have two sections, and then we're going to do a quick press of those. And I'm just going to kind of press towards the darker fabric on this. And I'm going to heat set it and then just kind of roll, roll that fabric back. And we'll do the same for this one. Okay, and then we can go ahead and trim them up. Okay, so I'm going to be using a block lock ruler that's the size of the unit that I need. And I'm going to center it onto my block so that I'm trimming around all four edges. I like to do all four sides just because I feel like then I have it exactly squared up all the way around. Um, but you could just, you know, line it up in one corner and do two sides and then, you know, cut off the little uh, dog ears. But... Again, it's whatever you prefer. I do like to trim all four sides. And I'm just trimming off a real small amount. So it, the amount that will come off will depend on, you know, how close you stitch to that drawn line there. And so that looks pretty good. And we'll trim up this last one here. Okay. All right, and that looks good. So just a little bit of trimmings there. Okay, and let's get our design board out here. And I have the pieces to the inside of the block laid out according to how they are gonna go in our block when we sew it together. And I like to do that just because it keeps things going the way that they need to be because I sometimes pick up the wrong things and sew the wrong things together. So this just helps me stay organized and make sure everything's going the right way that it needs to. And so I have all my pieces laid out here. 
and I'm going to assemble these in quadrants. So the blocks that we've done so far are kind of like a big nine patch. And so I'm going to make these into four quadrants and put it together like a four patch. So this will be one, two, three, four. And then again, that just helps me um, visualize the units, make sure I have them turned the right way and keeps me on track sewing them together. So we also have, this is our last block that has our little green and blue checkerboard kind of border around it. So I'll be working on sewing those together in between these as well. So let's head on over to the sewing machine. Okay, and I'm just gonna start in the corner of one of the quadrants and pick up two pieces that I know are going to be sewn together. And then I'll pick up another section of that quadrant. And then I'm going to kind of just finger press and open up the block that I just stitched and add it right back to my design board so I don't get things out of order. And then I know I can just pick up my next piece. And so I'll just keep doing that. Go every other block here. It's kind of my leapfrog stitching. So I'll sew um, one section together, put it back on the board. Sew another section and just keep cutting one off and placing it back on. And I'm just gonna keep going through all the different blocks and when I get a bunch sewn together, I am going to kind of press them before we sew them into our completed quadrant. Okay, that looks good. And we'll place that right back on the board and grab the next thing. Cut one off and then I also have a little diagram kind of sitting next to me that I keep handy to make sure that I am staying organized, getting it where it needs to go back on the board so that we're not sewing together the wrong things. Okay. And these, none of these really have directional fabric, so that, that definitely helps out when you're... Oh, and the thread just broke. All right, I'm going to clip this one off and put that back on the board and go ahead and I'm gonna fix my thread. Okay, and I've got all the first round, so we're gonna go back to the pressing and go ahead and press that stuff real good and then just keep working on it. Okay, here's my design board and you can see I've just got, you know, stuff kind of flopping around, nothing's been pressed, but it is in the place where it needs to go. So I'm just going to slide that up there and grab pieces and start pressing. And I'm gonna go ahead and just press all of these seams open just because that's gonna be easier to keep track of when we're lining all the pieces up and okay and then I'll just return it back to the board where it needs to go and grab the next piece Okay, 
Okay, I've got that all put back on my board exactly how I want it to go. And what I'm going to do now when I get back to the sewing machine is I'm going to sew these units, the shorter units, to the half square triangle in each one of our quadrants. And then I'll press those and then the last thing we'll do is come and add the longer portion onto our quadrants. And then I think in between that, I'll go ahead and start on some of that border. Okay, and I'm picking it up from my design board exactly how it goes. I don't want to turn my block and then stitch it to the wrong side. So then we're going to get our edges lined up and stitch a quarter of an inch. Grab the next one and just keep working my way around the block. Okay, we're going to do some pressing of the units that we just sewed together. And I'm going to press them to one side and then I'm going to press that seam open. Now I don't use steam in my irons, but occasionally I'll take a misting bottle and mist a little bit of water on there. And then when I press that, it kind of acts like a steam. And so my seams get really, really flat. Like that is really nice and flat. So, okay, we're gonna put that on there. And then I'm gonna go through pressing all of those and then I uh, sewed together a bunch of the little border pieces and we'll press that and then we'll be ready to sew these quadrants together and then get our block sewed together. So that's going to be ready to sew. And then we've got all these little pieces and I'll do pressing on them. Okay, now we're gonna sew these units together and then that will complete our four quad quadrants. And so I'm just lining up those seams there. another one and just keep sewing. Okay, we can press those. Right now I've got those pressed to one side and I'm just going to kind of line it up here to see if that's going to interfere with anything. I think those seams are all just going to intersect with a 
um, like a solid piece so I think I'm just gonna leave those as is and then now we can join these two together these two together and then sew all four quadrants and then add our border Okay, as I'm joining these together, I just lined up my first two edges, and then as I get to a seam that's gonna match, I'm just gonna pause and line it up. And then check my next one. and let's press that. And this is our completed block. Thanks for watching.